Hafsa bint Umar, may Allah be pleased with her, was the daughter of Umar ibn al-Khattab. May Allah be pleased with him. She was a beautiful and pious woman. She married Khunus ibn Hudayfa ibn Qais al-Sahami from the tribe of Quraysh. Her husband went on the two emigrations to Abyssinia and Medina and she supported him as he fought in the Battle of Badr and the Battle of Uhud. In the latter battle, he was fatally wounded and died shortly afterward. She was only 18 years old when she lost her husband. Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, was very sad because of what happened to his daughter. She had become a widow at such a young age. After failing to find a suitable husband for her, he went to the Prophet. Peace and blessings be upon him. The Prophet smiled and said, Hafsa will marry someone who is better than Uthman, and Uthman will marry someone better than Hafsa. Accordingly, Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, was very happy and excited to have such a great honor. He had not thought of such a blessing. Everyone in Medina was pleased with the Prophet's marriage to Hafsa bint Umar. May Allah be pleased with her. Hafsa, may Allah be pleased with her, joined the rank of the Prophet's wives known as the mothers of the faithful. When she married the Prophet, her co-wives were Sauda and Aisha. May Allah be pleased with them. Hafsa lived with the Prophet in Medina for eight years and lived on for a further 34 years after his death. She witnessed the joy of the victory of Islam and she saw how Islam spread far and wide under her father's guidance and leadership. She died in 47 after Hijra at the age of 63. May Allah be pleased with her. Important points about the life of Hafsa. Hafsa was helping the wounded in the battlefield when her husband was killed. After the death of her husband, Hafsa's father Umar offered her in marriage to Abu Bakr, then to Uthman, but they both politely declined the offer. To honor her and her father, the Prophet married Hafsa.